Hey guys, this is Xonar and it has been a long time since I made a tutorial and I decided to make a tutorial again. If this goes well, I might make more in the future, but I'm not sure yet. You can listen to the full track on my main channel. It's already out now for a few weeks. Um, the link is in the description. So this, or, I did not really organize this tutorial, so I'm sorry if sometimes I uh, get stuck, but I just wanted to, you know, upload it on YouTube for you guys to enjoy. Um, so basically I looked for the BPM of the track, the tempo, um, I just Googled it on the internet. I be began copying the piano melody from the first verse. After that, I brought the tempo up to 150 and I stretched the sample to fit it. So this is basically the piano melody and some pads to, to fill up the space. And through the whole track, I automated the original um, so it fits in the mix. Um, this is kind of a build up to the first, what is it, a break kind of thing. Uh, this is basically a bunch of rides, claps, everything together, uh, some sweeps, and together with a super saw uh, that follows the bass notes. And this part is basically a bunch of automations, effects. Uh, most of the times it's a cut of automation for the leads and the chords. Um, I have like a counter melody going on if you listen closely to it. So it's basically like I can turn off on the leads, I can solo them. Um, together with these two Nexus presets. Um, so yeah, this, if you want to see the m melody, it's over here. I basically created some kind of tape sub effect, um, just by dragging notes and playing around with them. And there's also a cutoff over here going down to add that effect. Uh, I also added a house kick to... Um, to sidechain the bass notes, the bass notes are there to fill up the, the frequency a bit to give it some sort of foundation or um, some power. And basically a bunch of crashes and effects to fill up um, some of the spaces there. So this is the first little part. And together with those Nexus presets over here, the original also goes back. Um, you hear more of the original. And this is basically the EQ going to the left and right. Over here I open up the full melody, the full chords. So yeah, the lead consists out of a bunch of different lead sounds. I combine them, I send them all to one bus with a camel crusher on it, uh, a subtle kickstart to give it some sidechain, uh, EQ, and of course the cutoff. This lead bus goes to to sense over here with a lead reverb and a delay. The reverb has Arts Acoustic Reverb on it. This, this is the preset. I think Code Black showed it one time in the tutorial and I've been using it since. And this is the limiter to sidechain the reverb. So when the, the melody is playing, the reverb ducks down. And if there's no melody, the reverb, is, reverb comes up again. 
um, which gives the melody some space so it doesn't get flooded by the reverb and then the piano comes in again over here and so the build up is basically the kick building up uh, going faster a clap the kick and a clap are automated that the pitch go up um, there are some sweeps there's a sweep I made myself I like a picture sweep and I always like to follow the melody uh, at the end uh, some fills and then there is a little sweep with the leads over here and that's basically the same as I did with the other uh, part of the track I just put them in the piano roll and I just mess around with it um, to see what effect I can get and I also automated the cutoff over here this is the climax um, the kick is basically from another YouTube tutorial that uh, I borrowed it has a attack on it that is in a hard soap pack oh yeah and I also have a bunch of chords filling up the mids and the high frequencies So these are basically the chords. Um, I also have chords that follow the melody, uh, the rhythm of the melody, basically. These. Um, and then the climax goes on. And over here, over here, there's another break. Uh, I didn't add too much here. I didn't want to get rid of the feeling of the track. And here's again a build up and some fills at the first bar of the um, of the first four measures of the of the melody And yeah, basically here the original track comes in again. Um, it's not too complicated actually. It's just about finding the right chords, the right melodies. Um, but when I... I just copied the melody uh, note by note at the beginning. And then I knew what chords they are. And then I had an idea in my head and just wrote the melody for it. Um, and then this track came together. It's a lot of automation, um, a lot of control over the reverb. Without the, the side chain, it would get flooded. And um, yeah, so I hope you liked it, this tutorial. Um, I might make more in the future, I don't know. If you would like to see some projects I did, uh, other things, let me know. Oh, and be sure to follow my other YouTube account where I release my music it would mean a lot to me um, that's what I do it all for and um, I hope you have a nice day bye